What's up, everyone? Welcome to a special Halloween edition of Patient Medical Assessments here at IMA. Uh, as always, remember this is a real student with one of our actual proctors going through a proctored medical assessment. So grab your skill sheets, grab your bucket of candy, let's check it out. All right, so this is your medical evaluation. Do you have any cool. questions before let's we begin? No. All right. Well, what's she sick with? <laughs> so you're dispatched to a Halloween party for a 20 year old female who's confused. Okay. All right. Um, before I enter the scene, I'm going to make sure that I have my PPE on. Okay. Um, I'm going to make sure that this haunted house Halloween party is safe. Your scene is safe. Scene is safe. Um, I'm only looking for one patient. Yep, one patient. Um, and our nature of illness is um, a 20 year old female who's confused. Um, we're just going to consider C-spine precautions as we come in, and I think I'm going to go ahead and get um, ALS on the way. Okay. Um, but the party's under control. No need for cops or fire. Correct. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm coming in, and my general impression is this person is not, they're holding their head. They're not tracking me. Um, as you walk in, you find your patient sitting on the couch. Like you said, she's not tracking you. She appears to be confused and uncoordinated. Okay. Okay, um, so I'm going to um, try to get our level of consciousness. Hey there, my name is Bryn. I'm with Ada County Par Paramedics. What's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on? I don't know. I just, I just woke up and I was here. I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I have no idea. Okay, and do you know where we are? What town we're in? Um, no. Okay, um, and. Uh, do you know what year we're? Uh, no. Okay. And um, you, one more time, you said that you woke up here? Yeah, I just woke up and I was here, and I feel like there's a little taste of blood in my mouth, but that's all I know. Okay, so we're going to say that this person is alert. On the Avpu scale, we're going to say that they're ANO by 1 to 2. Um, and... Um, okay, I'm going to have a patent airway because she's talking to me. So Correct. we're going to move on. clear. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Sabrina, I'm going to just check your breathing and see how like uh, things are moving along. Is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to also get your circulation, okay. like so your pulse while we do that. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So I am checking for um, breathing first. Okay. And so I'm looking for rate, rhythm, and quality. So she's breathing at 20 times a minute with good chest rise and fall and a regular rhythm. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna move on to circulation, rate rhythm and quality and skin powder. Sure, so her pulse is strong at a rate of 90 and regular. And her skin, she's a little bit pale, but she's warm and dry. Okay. Um, I'm going to say with our respirations, we feel good um, with regular rhythm and quality, 20 breaths a minute. Um, so we're not going to put any oxygen on her right now. Um, your chief complaint is you just feel confused, not really sure how you woke up here, a little bit of taste of blood in your mouth. Okay, did you? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. I just feel tired. and Yeah, I just don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, did you come here with anyone today? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have my partner here get a quick round of vitals. So we're looking for our heart rate, respiratory rate, SpO2. So I'm going to stick something on your finger. Beep. That's just going to check how much our oxygen is going, is perfusing. Um, I'm going to also get your blood pressure. Have you had your blood pressure taken before? I think so. Okay. So we're just going to put a little cuff around you. It's going to squeeze a little bit tight. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get a blood glucose reading. Have you had one of those? No. Okay, so we're just going to take your other finger, we're just going to put some alcohol on it and give it a little quick poke, okay. and then we'll make sure that um, you've got the right amount of sugars going on in your body. Okay? All right, so. Perfect. Pop, 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 so pop, pop, pop. your blood pressure is 133 over 86. Okay. Heart rate of 90. Respirations are still at 20. And her blood glucose was 112. I'm sorry, her SpO2 is at 98%. Thank you. Okay, um, 
So we're going to go ahead and try to get this patient transported quickly. We've got a little bit of time to kind of um, dig into some of this stuff, but um, I want to get her on the way. Um, I'm good. Okay. So um, I want to just ask a little bit more um, about your medical history, if that's okay, Sabrina. Um, so you said maybe five or 10 minutes ago, you woke up here, a little taste of blood in your mouth, nothing else that you remember? Yeah. Anything else changing? No? Okay. Um, do you have any allergies? Don't know. Um, to food or I don't drink? think so. No? Okay. Um, medicine that you take regularly? I can't remember. Okay. Um, and have you had any alcohol or other drug use today? I can't remember that either. <laughs> okay. Um, past medical history, has anything like this happened to you before that you can think of? Not that I can remember. Okay. Um, and last ins and outs in terms of things that you've had to eat or drink today. Can you remember any of that? No. Okay. Um, and events leading up to this, you have no memory from kind of? Nope. I don't remember anything. Okay. Um, and we are still, uh, as we're talking, this is like the way that my patient would be responding in right. communication. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are going to ask just some more questions and see if we can kind of get to the bottom of this. Um, I'm going to take a look inside your mouth and see if like we can see anything that's bleeding. So could you open your mouth and stick out your tongue? Okay. Do I see anything? Uh, there is a small bite mark to the tongue. Okay. Um, okay. Do you know if you've ever had a seizure before? Is that something you've had or been diagnosed with epilepsy? Um, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking this is a neurological thing. That's the track that I'm headed down right now. Um, this started about, we think, 10 to 15 minutes ago is when we were dispatched. Um, do you have any pain? your body um, right now? My mouth just kind of hurts, but that's it. Okay. Um, we're going to, you're sitting here. Um, so I'm going to just kind of do like a quick body scan to see if I notice any other like trauma that would have been indicated from a fall. Um, and I think we're going to take C-spine precaution just in case you did fall down. Okay. You've got like biting your tongue. So I'm gonna put a C collar on you. So measure that. Do, do, do. Is that okay? Yeah. This is gonna be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's just gonna keep you extra safe. Um, don't have any pain? Okay. I said no drugs or alcohol. Not that That's, I can remember. That you're like coming with. And you said no friends came with you today. Nobody else that you know mm -hmm. here at the party? Maybe. Maybe. Her boyfriend is here with her. All right. Cool. Um, is he around here somewhere? Is yeah. He, are you a boyfriend? Sure. Um, what's your name? Uh, my name's Chance. Chance. Um, so I'm here with Sabrina. She seems a little bit confused and has got a little bite mark on her tongue. Um, did you notice anything different about her tonight at the party? Anything that's happened in the last uh, little bit? No, I kind of looked over and found her. She was on the floor shaking a little bit, but that okay. stopped pretty quick. Okay. Um, and have you ever seen Sabrina in, like, have this experience before? She mentioned something about it, but I've never seen it. Okay. Have you, um, has she ever mentioned anything about seizures or being epileptic? Yeah, she talked about seizures. Okay. And do you know she takes any medications? I know she takes something for them, but I don't know what she takes. Okay. All right. Um, Sabrina, how are you doing? Good. Doing all right? Okay. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Um, so because we're kind of thinking neurological and kind of thinking about seizures from what we've got from our bystander for chance from a um, familial or close relationship that this is probably a seizure, but I'm just going to go ahead and get a quick um, GCS score. Um, so eyes are opening spontaneously. Um, let's say... Four and um, do you, you feel like um, you could squeeze my finger? Yeah, things. All right, so we're going to call your motor skills in check. Um, that's really good. Thanks, um, Sabrina. So we're going to say you've got a GCS of 14. I think that's good. I think that I would say that we're in the 
post-ictal phase of um, a seizure. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get some oxygen running on you, um, just as um, kind of to help us there. I'm gonna put a non or a, uh, nasal cannula, so we're just gonna put a little bit of oxygen right here and just get you set up with four liters a minute um, of O2. Does that sound okay to you? Would that be comfortable enough? All right, so let me get that on. Um, that's a treatment. Um, before we make the call to the hospital and actually get loaded up in the ambulance, I'm just going to get another set of vitals and see how things are progressing. Does that sound okay by yeah. you? Yeah? Okay. So let's get heart rate, respiratory rate, SPO2, and blood pressure. Okay, so her blood pressure is 110 over 76. Mm -hmm. Heart rate has decreased to 80. She's still 98% on that oxygen. Okay. And she's breathing at 18 times a minute. Okay. Um, great. Um, we are going to make our radio call. I'm also going to have you, when we get on the gurney, have you kind of lay down um, and relax, and we'll get you into the hospital and, and make sure that things are tracking okay. okay. Um, beep, 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 beep. St. Luke's, this is Will Smith calling. Um, I am here with a 21 year old patient who is confused. She's at a Halloween party. Um, she has a history of seizures and takes a medication for it. We're unsure what that is. It seems like she's slowly coming out of it. We've got vitals, heart rate 80, respiration 18, blood pressure 110 over 76. We've got her hooked up to 10 or uh, four liters per minute on a nasal cannula. We'll be there in five. Great. Over. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do for your patient? I mean, keep her warm, keep her shock. Um, I think that's it. Okay, great. You got all of your points. You didn't hit any critical <laughs> fails. Just remember, uh, if you can't get all the history that you want from her, asking for somebody else, yeah, right? So, and that's so I was kind of trying to get out with bit. like the friends, right? Um, I guess I could have like looked around and asked if there is a human <laughs> around that I can see that she's not telling me about. Sure. But you got it. Um, is that what was going on? Yep. A seizure. Seizure. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. Anything else that you'd recommend? No, ma'am. All right. I hope you feel better. Thanks. <laughs> You're looking pretty green still. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that was one of our students going through a medical assessment. Hopefully that helps you out if you're pr practicing for your own medical assessments. Uh, make sure to check out our other videos. We have other similar videos if you're prepping for a medical or trauma assessment, lecture videos. We have all sorts of stuff. We also have basically EMS, our podcasts, to help EMT students. So check those out. Please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.